For those who know Brooke and Jesse, they grew up close to each other, you know, country neighbors, right? Like most of everybody here, probably country neighbors, right? Um, you know, and, and it's funny that people known each other whole lives and they don't know their true love is right there next to them. I also want to give a special shout out to Jesse's dad, Claude, who isn't here with us today, but I'm sure he would be extremely proud of the man you become and this special day. And, you know, I know you wish he was part of this day, and I just want to make sure I recognize him. It's not the way you hold me in your arms. It's not your life or charismatic charm. Thank you everybody for uh, coming today to celebrate Brooke and Jesse, uh, their day to, to celebrate their, their new life together, their new life to just celebrate their happiness, their dedication uh, to each other. In the old days, hundreds of years ago, the father giving away the bride was one of those traditions where it was an exchange of goods. Nowadays, it's a, it's a thing of love and trust, that they trust that Jesse is gonna take care of their daughter like they did. Brooke Belk, the girl down the road. I would never thought this day would ever come, but here we are, you're the love of my life, the peace and calmness of our home. I love you, Brooke, forever and always. Three years ago, you captured my heart by being exactly who you are, the sweetest, most loving, and compassionate person I have ever known. I know your dad is looking down on you, thinking what a great man he has raised and how he is so proud of you. You have been the reason I smile and you have given comfort beyond measure. I'm not sure a lifetime is long enough to return all you have given me, but I promise the rest of my days, I'll spend by your side. You will always be the best part of my day. Brooke, Jesse, by the power vested in me, by the World Wide Web, in the state of North Carolina, I now pronounce you husband and wife. You may kiss the bride.